the Castlegar Handicap Chase is next up. This is a Class 3, I think. And it's a 0 to 120, 2 miles, 6 furlongs. And at the top, we've got Cape Solitude for Darren Thompson, Achane Byrne, Martin Leadham, Attracted Branch, and MC. Oh, Attracted Branches for James Shea, MC Hammer for Paul Rhodes, Yearbook Leggings, Ben Benici, Market Tavern, Graham Clutterbuck, Goldie Stu Gray, James Bond, David Hooley, Morecat Gray, Thomas Rogers, Blockley Tutor, James Shea, Ring of Saturn for Craig Beckwith, and Fire for Joshua Sutherland. So 12 this time to face the starter. The rain has stopped. And away they go. Yeah, towards the first. Which is pretty much in the straight, I think. And it's Yearbook Leggings in the blue jacket that's gone on to take an early lead from Blockley Tutor. In the green jacket, second on the outside of Cape Solitude, as we see them from the roof of the stand. And racing away from us and about to negotiate the first of 14 fences as they prepare to leave the home straight. And uh, Yearbook Leggings comes to it in front. Oh, there's a fall, and there's a crashing fall at the back. Attracted branch just didn't take off at all, ran straight into the fence. And the jockey had no chance at all. So that's one out. I think that's James Shea's, but I think he's got another one in there as well. And it's Yearbook Leggings in the lead. Yearbook Leggings in by a good two and a half to James Bond in second. As they get over the second, with MC Hammer just the back marker. Yearbook Leggings it is then, who's taking them along from James Bond in second, Akane Byrne is third, then Goldie in fourth, that's the only grey in the field. So, at number three, and over that one they all go, Goldie and MC Hammer, and James Bond in this. There you go, more cap grey isn't. Anyway, it's Yearbook Leggings at this ditch, as they get over it, and they're all safe now on that one. With the yearbook leggings in the lead jockey, have a look over his shoulder, but he looked the wrong way. If he looked the other way, he'd have seen that James Bond was there, ready to pounce and jump off into the lead. So James Bond it is then, who's gone on from yearbook leggings in second, and Akane Byrne back in third. Then comes Morecap Gray and Blockley Tutor, with MC Hammer, the yellow cuffs on the outside of them, and then I'm down on the near side in the white sleeves is Cape Solitude. Also in white sleeves with a blue jacket behind that one is Ring of Saturn. And the black and the red hoops of Fire Market Tavern in those Graham Clutterbuck Welsh flag colours is at the back with the grey goldie for Stu Gray. So a very short run between the sixth and the seventh. They all negotiated both of those successfully. And the yearbook leggings continues to show the way then, leading by a good three. James Bond second. Morecat Grey third, Blockley Tutor is fourth, and then Keep Solitude, Nakane Burn, MC Hammer on the outside, Ring of Saturn, sitting quietly behind that little bank of four, and then the back three, and as you were, as they come up past the stand again, and I see them from the top of the grandstand. into the fence that'll take them out of the straight over that one they all go and they're all safely over that one with the yearbook leggings in the lead Cape Solitude's moved through into second Akane Byrne has gone into third James Bond just been given a bit of a breather on the inside just dropped back to about seventh or eighth place and Goldie is just getting a little bit detached about four lengths off the back as they approach the final mile on the ninth fence and over that one they go all safely over it again yearbook leggings Cape Solitude block the shoot to the one two three the rest of them in a bit of a heap with the exception of the back marker. But yearbook leggings by about a neck into fence number 10. All safely over that one as well. I can burn just losing its place a little bit. It's Cape Solitude on the outside of yearbook leggings there. Those two are disputing the lead. They've got Market Tavern up on the inside as they take that ditch, which they're all over again. And Blockley Tuker is fourth. Well, the next one they go. Safely over that as well, and now beginning a swing right handed. They've got three more to take. And Cape Solitude is now clear in front. Akane Burn and Fire 
now coming through on the outside and he said go on fire and it's Cape Solitude now being overtaken by fire Ring of Saturn though he's coming through the chase then after that one comes Arcane Burn and Yearbook Leggings is dropping right out of it they come down towards the second last fence then now and fire gets over in the lead but a slow jump so too by Cape Solitude and now on the inside Market Tavern over the final fence they go fire still in the lead Market Tavern is trying to close but he's not picking up very quickly it's fire in front they've still got two and a half furlongs to go and no more fences to take it's fire in the lead from Market Tavern on the inside. Then comes Cape Solitude. James Bond is running on again. Then comes More Cat Graham, Broccoli Tutor. They're racing down towards the final furlong and a half and fires in the lead. Market Tavern is slowly wearing him down and might be just about getting up. It's Market Tavern on the inside. Fire closest to us between the two Cape Solitude. James Bond one pace back in fourth. It's just Market Tavern pokes his head in front. Now Cape Solitude comes to challenge. It's Market Tavern and Cape Solitude. It's on the nod as they flash past the post. It's on the nod, the angle. He's always deceptive on these. And he would say from the angle we looked at, it looked like Market Tavern had hung on. But knowing the way the angles work in this game, I wouldn't be too sure. He's at least got a share of it anyway. And Market Tavern takes it for Graham Clutterbuck. Cape Solitude with Aaron Thompson second. Fire for Joshua Sutherland third. James Bond, David Hooley was fourth. And Blockley Tutor for James Shea was fifth.